Hello, everyone. Uh, this week, uh, last week, we went ahead and we did a transformation in which we added vector that had the SGR90 sequence and Cas9 in it, and we added a repair template. And what we've done, what I, what we've done, the TAs and I have done is we've actually picked colonies from those plates for you and put them on another plate. And that process, the jargon is, we patched that plate. So we picked the colonies and made colonies and, and numbered them so we can actually do them. So we'll do that, and we'll, we'll, this is the patch plate, and we will, this plate right here, and we'll, we'll pick these colonies, and we'll do PCR on them to be able to, one, to be able to get the DNA so we can sequence, because for these mutations, there's no easy way to screen them other than just doing DNA sequence. So we're going to do PCR on the colony, on the patch plate, and the next week, we will, we will purify that DNA, but we'll also go ahead and we will run a gel t later today in this experiment. So we'll do this colony PCR, we'll pick colonies from the plate, from the patch plate, put them in the, the solution, and then we'll do PCR reaction, and then next week we'll purify that PCR reaction and we'll submit the samples for, for DNA sequence analysis. So the first thing to do is, I've already done this step for you, is that you see these tubes here. Um, I don't know if you can tell here, they're, I've already labeled them one through four. And what it is, is these solutions contain 25 microliters of, of 2X apex red solution. They contain one microliter of O27 oligonucleotide, one microliter of O28 oligonucleotide, and then 23 microliters of water. So these reactions are about 50 microliters each. And after we do the PCR reaction, we'll take 10, 10 microliters out and run those on an agarose gel to make sure that the PCR reaction worked and it's, the DNA is worth purifying. We'll go ahead and, and do the picking right now. I have, a, have some sterile toothpicks here. I will pick the, my first toothpick out. I will touch colony number one and I will. Now, um, we found, I found that um, a lot of times doing this process, if, you, if you're a little bit slow at doing this, the toothpicks can absorb a lot of that solution. And um, so you don't want to dally on this. Don't, you don't want to spend too much time on this step. So just go ahead and make sure you have cells at the end of the toothpick. And put them in the solution. So here they're in the solution. I will shake them up a little bit. And then I will grab all four toothpicks, pick them up, shake that a little bit, throw them off to the side, and put the caps on it. And you've already shown this before, the, the previous experiment where we did colony PCR for E. coli, I'll just take these over. These tubes will go over to the thermocycler. They'll sit in the thermocycler for about two hours, maybe two hours and ten minutes. And at that point, we're going to take this, this, these samples out and run an agarose gel on them. So we'll be doing that today, and that's our experiment for the day. And then next week, we will be purifying the DNA we made in here from the PCR to be able to submit that for DNA sequence analysis. See you later. Hopefully this makes sense and this helps you prepare for your experiment. We'll see you later.